Buenos dias and welcome. Today we are in Bogota, one of the most dangerous cities I've heard. But today we are getting lost. We're gonna do what we normally do, take a few random buses into the deep, deep parts of Bogota and go and explore. The only thing we are doing that is might be cheating a little bit is we are going south. That is the direction that I know we are going. We are going south to go and explore and see if it's true, if what people say about Bogota is true. I have my doubts, but let's go catch that first bus. So as we go to catch our first bus, I do have to remind you, although I've been in Colombia for a month now, my Spanish is still very bad. Buenos dias. My Spanish is still not very good. I've been practicing, but mi español es malo. It's still malo. So uh, hopefully uh, it'll be a little bit better than when I first arrived and explored. But we, uh, we definitely need maybe a few months more practice before I can be more conversational. But let's catch this first bus here. So this is our bus stop here. I can see a couple of signs up there about where the places are to go. And like I said, I am gonna go south. And I know that San Cristobal is south. So I think I might take that bus and adventure down there. Technically, I do know where I'm going if I take that bus, so I'll have to take another one after that so I can truly say that I'm lost, otherwise I'll know exactly where I am. I don't know if you have to have a card to pay or if you just use cash. We'll see. Okay, so a small change of plans. We do have to buy a card for transport here if we're gonna take a bus, so I'm going to uh, go and see if I can get a little transport card. These buses look packed going south, so we're, we're gonna be in a busy bus. Buenos dias. Necesito una tarjeta de dos. Perfecto, muchas gracias. I think it was only 6,000. Okay, it was 5,000 for the card and then 3,000 per trip. And now we get to go on these busy buses. Let's see where we end up. Very full today. Mucho personas. All right, we're on the bus. This time I actually genuinely don't know where we're going. I thought I was going to San Cristobal, but we'll see. That is the first bus of the day. Let's see if we can catch another one or what the plan is. It looks like people just jump off of the side of this, uh, this thing to cross the road. So let's do that. Oh. All right, we got across the road. I just got a little dust in my eye. No big deal. Now let's go see if we can catch another bus and get a little uh, further of exploration going on here in Bogota. Behind me is a city park. So maybe uh, that'll give you an idea, the general idea of where I am, if you've been here before. Well, let's go, uh, let's go explore and see if we can't catch another bus. I gotta get this stuff out of my eye. All right, we're having a small change of plans. Since there's nothing on this side of the road, no more buses, we're gonna hop onto the other side and see if we can't catch a, another bus to take us further in. I think one more bus should get us sufficiently lost in Bogota, and then we can let the adventure truly begin. Well, let's cross this highway here and uh, see if we can catch another bus. I see another bus stop up ahead here. Let's see if we can't hop on the bus. There we are. Necesito una tarjeta? Sí. Parece. Está bien? 
Let's hang out, see? Okay. into Bogota. All right, this is our stop. Some random part of Bogota. Now before I begin exploring, I do want to bring up a couple things that uh, I've learned about Bogota since I've been traveling in Colombia. Over half a million Venezuelan refugees are uh, living in Bogota, which uh, can make it maybe a little bit more dangerous, you know, but just like any big city in the world, this is one of the biggest cities in Colombia, and just like any big city in the world, it can be dangerous. Any city in the world can be dangerous. So I mean, things that you have to just be aware of and be careful of, you have to be conscious, you know, of what you're doing, where you are, the people around you, this is all very important. You know, for me, today I didn't bring anything valuable with me except for my phone and obviously the camera. So, uh, I mean, it's as much precaution as you can have, but you can get robbed in any city in the world. But let's go and uh, explore around where we are. It seems like a, a half decent place. I'd like to get some food. I haven't eaten yet today and it's already getting into the early afternoon. So let's see if we can find some food. There's kids, kids playing here. Seems relatively all right. I mean, up ahead is a, it looks like there's a little bit busier section, maybe some restaurants up there. We can continue exploring and see what this part of Bogota has to offer. Just from the route I've taken on the buses, I'm guessing I'm in the Southwest, Southwestern part of Bogota. So let's see, there's always different things going on. That guy's looking at me funny. You never know. The first strange encounter, this guy behind me is looking at me a lot. Trying to see if uh, see if I'm easy pickings, I guess, I don't know. But he turned around multiple times to look, so just something that I keep an eye on. If he starts to follow me or come behind me, then I'll try and talk to him. It's usually how I keep it a little bit more interesting. All right, so this looks like a busier place. A little bit more central. This guy is walking towards me now, so we'll see if he keeps coming. If he gets any closer, we'll have to do something about it. Let's go find a restaurant. This looks like a nice place. There he is, there's the guy. He's looking at me funny. We'll get some food here and see if we can get something to eat. Hola, hola. Buenos días. Uh, Necesita un pechuga a la plancha. Tienes. Uh, sí. Aquí tienes pechuga a la plancha. Sí, señor. Sí. Papa la francesa, arroz, patacón, ensalada. Ensalada. Sí. Sí, arroz es bueno. Arroz. Arroz y ensalada. Sí. Listo. Claro, perfecto. Muchas gracias. So almost immediately after I got into this busier part of uh, this little town where I got off the bus that guy did start following me. Right away I noticed it and you can probably see from the camera when I showed it, you know, he was looking at me, kind of scouting me out. Obviously I'm walking around with a camera so I have to be a little bit careful about that. But once we're done eating here, let's take a look around this area and see if he's still here. If he's still here and if he's still like scouting me out, I'm gonna try and hop on a bus and leave here. I don't, there's no, no need to take an extra risk. If someone's already scouting you out that obviously, you know, it's best to move on to the next place. So we'll see if he's still here when I'm done eating. While I'm waiting for my food, I just wanna, si, es listo, un momento, gracias. While I'm waiting for my food, I just want to uh, look out here and see if that guy's just waiting out here or something. You never know. I don't see him, but he could just be around the corner. 
we'll keep an eye out for it when we go back. Good soup. I'm halfway through eating and this is delicious. Okay, just to be on the safe side, because you never know if uh, this guy's uh, out here waiting for me or has some friends. I met a guy in here who's a veterinarian and he's just on his lunch break and he's going back to work after lunch. And so I'm gonna take a ride with him to wherever he's going. Just because I don't want to be in an area where I've already been scouted out, especially with my camera. I mean, I have not, I didn't bring anything on me that I'm not willing to lose. That's what I planned for, but it still wouldn't be fun to have uh, my camera stolen. So let's uh, take a ride with this guy. All right, we uh, made it to uh, the car with this gentleman who's going to take me to his work, which is, uh, he said, about 10 minutes away. I figured it's uh, safer just to ride with this guy out of the town, because, you know, the person that was following me around there for a little bit, you know, it's better if I don't risk it. And, uh, you know, who knows where, if he's around, or he could have meant nothing, you know, it could have been nothing, but you have to be better safe than sorry. And the way that he was following me definitely didn't seem nothing. So I'm uh, taking a ride with his veterinarian. He was showing me some of his uh, surgeries that he was doing today while I was eating. He was doing an open heart surgery on a dog. So I mean, it definitely wasn't the most appetizing thing to see, but, but it's uh, really interesting. I've been rescued by a vet. I love it. This guy knows everybody. This was the perfect person to hitch a ride with. Oh. Canada. 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 Ciao. Oh, it's a Oh. It's okay if I meet her? Sí. Mira, cool. I'm gonna go check out his uh, veterinarian clinic. This is kind of cool. Hola. He's like so popular. Hola. ¿Cómo va el gato? Busy place. He's a busy man. I should probably just go. Adios. Ciao. Muchas gracias. Nice to Thank you very much for the help. Muchas gracias. He's a very busy man. There's no time to explore or chat. His office was uh, full to the brim of people that needed uh, their animals to be helped. 
Oh wow, that was very uh, fortunate that he just happened to sit beside me when I was eating uh, eating dinner there, or eating lunch, I should say. And he knew everybody in the town, you know? He's a, he seemed like a very good guy, very like popular, well-known in the community. And it was very kind of him. He just took me in a ride, and as you saw, I just went into his office there, and as soon as he got in the office, there was like 20 people needing his help right away. He's a good man. So you have the good and the bad here in Bogota, you know? Uh, all right, but we're gonna have to change our plans a little bit. We're gonna have to start taking a bus back towards where, uh, where I'm staying for the night, where it's a little bit uh, safer. You know, I don't wanna have this uh, experience happen again for me. It was a really fascinating and interesting experience to have, you know? But you have to keep your wits about you when you're in places like this. So let's go back to the bus station. I'm gonna quickly uh, search to make sure I know where it is. And we'll take a bus back towards uh, the center, back towards the northeast, where I think it should be a little bit safer. You know, aside from that little experience with that one guy who was following me and, you know, maybe trying to rob me or whatever, this is a really cool part of town, actually. It seems like there's a lot of good people around here. It's starting to rain now. I gotta get to that bus before it's uh, good. Hola, hola. Es <laughs> bueno. You guys saying hi. See, that's more like it. That's a little bit nicer. I guess maybe I was just in one ran into one particular bad person, but everybody else has been good. Well, let's get to that bus, it's starting to rain. I don't have an umbrella. Don't want to get too wet. Let's get to the, um, to the bus. What is the uh, Let's see. All right, bus time. Wow, look at this. It's like a full on meat rack. Very cool. getting distracted now that I'm in a better part of the neighborhood. That's really cool. They just had like a bunch of meat wrapped around that fire pit. Very cool. Hold on, buenos dias. All right, we made it to the bus stop. Hopefully this one will take us all the way back. It looks like it will. Tienes aromática? Si? Maracuya. We'll get a nice, it's starting to rain, so it's getting a little bit chilly. So I think a nice tea would help uh, while we wait for the bus. Hopefully it doesn't come too quick. Quanto cuesta? No. Ah, muchas gracias. Ah, no, este bueno. Este bueno. No necesito. Gracias. This looks like it's going to be good. Maracuya. Very good. Okay. Tienes a. Tienes a. a cambiar. The coins. Tienes dos, uh, dos mil uh, coins. Para la bus. Coins. The coin. Es hizo dos uno mil. Coins. Sí. Lo siento, mi español es malo. Necesito más práctica. No todos los días tenemos un motorcycle. That's funny. Just trying to get some coins. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Sí. Muy caliente, otro. No necesito frío. Un poquito, pero uh, yo soy canadiano de Canadá. Es muy frío en Canadá. Aquí es muy calor. Aquí es muy calor. Bueno, porque es ese sector, pero vayan a los lados donde hace frío, frío. 
Sí. Anoche es frío aquí. Anoche? Sí, sí frío. Okay, we might have a small problem. Una problema? <laughs> Necesito uh, need to recharge my card. So, donde uh, where can I recharge it? I might be able to pay someone to tap for me though, we'll see. Do you think uh, pago, pago una persona? Tap para mí es bueno. Sí. Tres mil es bueno. Para. Okay. Hopefully uh, someone will uh, take the money. <laughs> Necesito una buena persona. I think maybe she's getting the tarjeta. Para para mí. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Hopefully it works. This nice lady's gonna help me out with using her card to pay for me. So the bus system here, you have to use a card to pay to take a ride, and I used all the money in my card. Vale. And okay. I, I don't know exactly what she said, but she I think she's gonna pay for my ride and then I'll just give her the money for how much it would cost. Puedo tener uno más maracuya. Sí, uno, 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 otro. Es muy bueno. Ah, perfecto. Gracias. Es caliente. Sí, es que aquí todo bien caliente. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí. Muchas gracias. made it back into the touristy part of town. Uh, I wish we could have had a little bit more of an experience exploring around today. So I think we're gonna do this again tomorrow. And we're gonna try it in a different direction. Maybe we'll go up into the north. But all in all, it was a, it was a good experience today to have, you know, just to see what it's like doing that in Bogota. But I feel like there's more out there for us to experience. Tomorrow, tomorrow we'll do this again and we'll see you then.